Here's one for the family fun. You're like fighting with putting a glove on top of a talking headshot. Like I've been trying to train her for the last two months. That was a disappointment. Like I, I did it the best way I could. Good morning. Here's one for the family fun. You're stuck in a room for three days. You get to take in one snack with you. Do you go with Cheetos Paws or Mike and Ike's Berry Blast? Okay, so the hand is coming off. I gotta get a good shot for the video. The glove is coming off, the finger, the condom. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Here we go. My hand's a little bit sweaty in here. So I've worn this for nearly 48 hours now. Okay, should we see it? It just feels gross. I thought this looked really pruny yesterday. Oh, how gross it is around my nail. That's vile. Oh. I didn't. Okay, though, it's still there. <laughs> what an idiot. Okay, you want to see it? I don't know, my nail seems to have grown a couple of inches. So this is the one that was in it. It's definitely more pale. This one here. But in terms of being more or less pruney, this one. I'm not sure I see it. But if you look at the back, this just looks... F oh. Was I doing the wrong finger the whole time? <laughs> so this is the one that was in it. Doesn't look any more or less pruney, does it? No. Ooh. That was a disappointment. It just feels cold and clammy. That was useless. That was a huge waste of time. Okay. I uh, Yesterday I, I went to the gym like just after walking the dogs as opposed to editing and then going. And I quite liked it, so I'm going to try it again. So I'm going to go to the gym now and then come back and edit. Yeah, I quite like that because I, I will then get the break between editing breakfast with the family and then working so there's still a nice little break in there and I don't have to try and think very creatively as soon as I wake up that's a plan all right let's go to the gym I'll see you after the gym oh I need to turn the car on first I've just come across this I guess it's more like a belief system optimistic nihilism so my brief understanding is that nihilism is the idea that nothing matters, I think. But optimistic real realism is that nothing matters and it's okay for you to not care about what matters. Or the belief that that's a good thing. So. The under, like, I guess this belief that there are no chains keeping you down. So like, I don't know, money isn't an issue. So you can just live your life and it doesn't matter what you do today because you don't have to be anywhere. You don't have to do anything. But I think that can only come when money is in the right place. But that's a, that's a weird one. I quite like the idea. I want to do some more research into it, but 
uh, I'm trying to figure out the nuances with what it is to be a parent or like a family man inside of this belief system. Because uh, at the moment, like I still, I still think about making enough, generating enough revenue each month. It's still a concern of mine. I think I would say a concern of mine. I tell you what, going from doing this on the side and working full time, like having that steady paycheck, the pressure definitely, you definitely feel the pressure switching out from that steady paycheck to now having to make your own amount each month. Like I, I did it the best way I could, uh, but it's very interesting how it is still, how I feel out there. Knowing that I can scale up and make more money if I need to, but just having it there. Okay, so uh, I got two things. One, the video I posted at the end of yesterday flopped. He did like 3,000, just under 3,000 views in like four or five hours. So, yeah, about that. So that's no bueno. So I pulled the video and I'm gonna change up the hook. I think the hook was the issue or maybe the video was too slow. I'm gonna review it with fresh eyes. But why did I pull the video within just a few hours? You can have a pretty good tell of if, it, if a video is gonna do well or not within the first, I'd, I'd say even in the first hour. Um, and so then you're like fighting with, do I take it down before other people notice? Like you don't want your followers or subscribers to see that video uh, if you're gonna take it down. And the reason why is because well, hopefully, like even if they enjoyed watching that video, if you take it down and post a second one, which is a very similar version, they're more than likely not gonna watch it. So it's trying to take it down before it reaches too many people, but also giving it enough time to breathe to see if it's going to do well or not. So I made that call last night, but I don't get retention analytics to see where it flopped, but I, I'm pretty sure it was the intro. For something, for it to die as quickly as that, I'm pretty sure it's the intro. And then the other thing is, doing the, I, I forgot to mention this, but the hand in lotion thing, I was getting into bed last night, putting the glove on my hand, and I'm thinking, what am I doing? Like, how far am I gonna go just to see what comes out of this challenge. And like, I'm, I'm in bed putting the glove on and I'm thinking, oh, like, what is the point? This is so stupid. Like, I'll just finish this right now. Like, how dumb is it that I'm putting a glove on top of a finger glove that's drenched in lotion that's on my finger to see how wrinkly my finger can get. That's pretty flipping weird. But then the other part of me is like, I can't, I'm not just gonna give up. Like, what happens if uh, someone else is interested in this. Like I know the videos did well on the previous time I did this. Um, but I, I, I'm trying to be careful of not just quitting on something because I don't want that to be a bad example for people watching. Like what happens if people are at a point where they look up to me and they see that I just quit on things? I think if I have a good reason to quit, sure. Like if it makes sense to me, if I can rationalize it, that's fine, I'm fine with that. I'm not just gonna blindly go through with something just because. I'm like, it wasn't that hard to finish this video, so just went along with it. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna go back, change up the hook, see where the issue is. Oh, I, I can't do that first, can I? I have to do the YouTube video, the pod vlog. Which I'm also thinking about that. And the clips are doing better. But there's still no traction. I'm still not able to bring in viewers to the YouTube channel. And I, I don't know what to change there. I, I, I'm thinking, I know it's gonna take a long time to get where I'm going. And I'm okay with putting in the work. 
but I'm sure that there has to be a creative way of marketing the YouTube channel or doing or changing something that will decrease the time it takes to reach where I'm trying to get to. Or like where I think I can get to. But I don't know what that is and I don't quite know how to find it. Just go and take shrooms or something and chill for a bit. <laughs> See what comes up. Okay. All right, well, I'll edit the pod vlog and then I'll see you when we go to do the, to make the changes. All right. Oh, interesting. That's not good. Uh, what am I going to do right now? Right now, I am going to make a tweak to the intro of the hand in lotion video. I don't know where the file has gone, but we can find it. Uh, here's what I was thinking. Sorry, give me one second because I'm useless at... Okay, got it. All right. I mentioned this yesterday while I was editing it and making this decision that I had a concern that while I think this shot is really good, it's really hard for people to figure out why, what's going on in this shot. So they just like scroll. I tested it on my wife this morning and I said, just, just watch the first like five, 10 seconds. I said, did you see did you see what happened in the first shot? She goes, uh no, not really. Because there's no context. I think that was my problem. There's no like reason why something would be squirting out. So someone like, if they even noticed that. Like there are so many distractions. There's my face, the yellow top. And then my fingers are covering the thing that's over my finger. Like, I do volume on. Let me put a cam, a mic down here for you. Turning on? Yes. All right. What happens if you keep your hand in lotion for 24 hours? After hand in that What happens if you keep your hand in lotion for 24 hours? What happens if you keep your hand in lotion for What happens if you keep your hand in lotion for 24 hours? After slipping it What happens if you keep your hand in lotion for 24 hours? After I really like that shot. Well, I like the idea of the shot, but I guess it just doesn't work out of context. There's not enough time in the intro for someone to be able to connect that it's lotion coming out of a finger, but then even that doesn't make any sense because they don't realize at this point that I've got something over my finger. So I think... <sighs> what if I use a shot of me pulling my hand. Well, I just haven't organized these ones yet, have I? I don't think that is great either. Annoyingly.
I'm trying to okay, I'm trying to find a shot or think of a shot that has my all my fingers in it and showing that something is difficult. What about bringing the groceries in? I have that shot up here, don't I? Right, this shot. Let's bring both of those to the beginning. Okay, and then let's see what else they have. That first one was useless. Why? What if the shot I have here is is fine? What happens if you keep your hand in lotion for twenty four hours? After. What happens if you keep your hand in lotion? I don't know. I feel like the wording of the hook is good. What happens if you keep your hand in lotion for 24 hours? What you keep your hand in lotion for... For 24 hours. Let's... Let's see what it looks like with a tracker on it. We experimenting, darling. Okay. Let's have a little look, shall we? Don't need that. Let's crop in a bit. What happens if you keep your hand in lotion for 24 hours? After slipping a hand in lotion. Let's see what it looks like with a little zoom in here. What happens if you keep your hand in lotion for 24 hours? After What happens if you keep your hand in lotion for 24 hours? After slipping a dip. What happens if you keep your hand in lotion for 24 hours? After slipping a dip. What happens if you keep your hand in lotion? I think this is the spot to add in a different clip. I think it's too long of just a talking headshot with not much happening. That I get a shot from the first video where I'm like waving my fingers in front of the shot. The lotion actually kept. Let's do that. I like that shot. With a squirt, squirt of lotion and slipped in a dip. I filled each of my wife's condoms with. Hmm. What happens if I keep. Let's use this shot. I can. It. I. Th I think it actually is quite a good shot. She's like, why has this guy got those gloves on out in the dark? Let's see. What happens if you keep your hand in lotion for 24 hours? After slipping a digit, what happens if you keep your hand in lotion? And in lotion for 24 and in lotion for 24 hours. After slipping a digit, what happens if you keep your hand in lotion for 24 hours? After slipping a I think that, I th I like that. I think I like that. I think I like that. I'm going to export it, send it to me for and see what I like, see what you like. Part 3.2. Saved it to the wrong place. Brilliant. Uh, I have... Alright, really weird thought I had last night, okay. I, hang on, let me just bring it up. Here we go. All right. The two dogs, we have Duda, which is our dog, and then we're also looking after Lila, which is my sister-in-law's dog, but she is such a badly behaved dog on a walk. Like, I've been trying to train her for the last two months. 
um, we just haven't gotten anywhere. Maybe it's on me. I've had someone else try to, and we can't get anywhere with her. So I've decided that I'm like when I walk Duda in the evenings, I'm just not going to take Lila. And I was <laughs> first part of that is, isn't it crazy? I think it's crazy that I come to the realization that I did I mention this yesterday? I prefer. No, I would rather enjoy a walk with Duda and leave Lila at home so she doesn't get an evening walk than I am willing to deal with her the way she is on a walk. But then I had this, I was like putting Duda's leash and stuff on last night. And I was like, I'm exci- I like walking Duda on her own. It's, it's nice to be out. It's nice to walk with her. She's really good. Uh, like, I was like, <laughs> stupid. Like, had my arms around her. I was like, are you looking forward to this walk? Are you looking forward to just walking with me and not having that stupid dog, Lila, walking with you? And then I'm thinking to myself, is she, is she like, hell yeah, I can't wait to go on a walk with dad again. Like, just him and I. Or is she just thinking, oh, cool, I get to go on a walk? (laughs) Uh, Yeah, is that stupid? I think that's kind of stupid, isn't it? No, Oliver, it's really cute. Okay, I'm going to send this video to my phone to see... There it is. And I'm just going to post it now, I think. Um, oh, yeah. Do you know what was really cool? Like, I, I should finish, just finalize this video stuff first, shouldn't I? But I'm going to say this. Um, I've been talking with a guy that works in influencer marketing. And him and I met through a previous deal. Having a call yesterday or the day before, he was essentially telling me that I have changed his whole mindset on the influencer marketing industry. Like number one, I've given him faith that there are real people who are working as creators and influencers. He said I took it away from being a transactional thing and more into like caring about what happens with the campaign, which is nuts to me that of all the creators and influencers he's dealt with before, I'm talking in the hundreds, he hasn't come across that. That seemed mental to me, just like where is the, what I would consider to be professionalism. Um, Yeah, and, and he was then saying, like you've changed the way that I would now pitch to brands And I think these brands need to start taking on influencers that have your mindset, not just of if the post doesn't do very well, you'll do another one, but more of the way you communicate, um, the fact that you have a formula for your videos instead of just like making a random video and hoping it does well. But he said he's said good things to the people at his company. He's said good things to the co- like some of the companies that he works with to get these deals in. That's really cool. It's like one of the first times in a long time that uh, someone's dropped a compliment like that, a face-to-face compliment like that, in what seems like a pretty... closed off world I could very easily make my videos and sit here and only talk to my wife all day every day which is kind of crazy uh I don't know where I'm going with that part of it but yeah Uh, also side note I I think everything's a bloody side note in this, isn't it? If you go in to pick up an order of food, wait. 
If you go into the restaurant to pick up an order from the rack that's close to the people that are working there, do you say thank you as you grab your food and leave or do you just grab your food and leave? I feel like it's so weird not to say thank you, but I, I rarely get a response. <laughs> so I don't know if it's just me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to check on this video, post it, and then we'll start planning out the part three or whatever, the 10 hour version of it. Yes. Okay, kind of look like a homeless man, don't I? Is this clip on here? Oh, gosh. How stupid does that look? Um, okay. It is, what time is it? It is 7.47. I wanna try one thing first that I asked my parents to bring over. I can, you can see this. It's really annoying. Uh, and then I think I'm gonna start uh, putting my life into more of a, not my life, my work, into more of a, um, What's the word I'm looking for? I do da. Uh, container process. I'll do it while we have these animal crackers. I wanted to try the US ones versus what we call animal crackers in the UK. So those versus those. I don't need to focus me. Can you see them? These are chocolate animal crackers. My wife just tried to sell me on the on the idea that these weren't chocolate. They didn't have chocolate on? Or are these just chocolate flavored? They're chocolate flavored. Even so, I think these are amazing. The Cadbury's one. I don't know what they taste like. I don't know if they're just stale. No, the taste is minging. Palate cleanser. Oh, magnesium to take. My eyes look red. Oh, got it. Do you find, I don't know if you find that interesting seeing like those small behind the scenes bits that go into a TikTok eventually. So like I'll record myself taking this every day. I have been. And then I'll just like speed through them. I should have made it look pretty cool. Like every day in the same position, do the same action. And then I could be wearing different clothes. I could do that from now, maybe. It's quite a cool idea, isn't it? So you keep the same motion. It's in the same place. So like I would leave a camera on a tripod. And then once a day, come in, take the photo. So I'll be wearing different clothes every day, hopefully. Snapping the photo just doing the same motion every day, and then I can cut it like frame by frame. Uh, all right. Yeah, American animal crackers, awful. Um, okay. The comment I made right before this video when I was out on the walk was that I, like today, I spent some time looking at AI apps, um, making clips, what else? A few other bits and bobs in there too, because I wanted to do those over, like I had a, a greater preference to do those things versus making the TikTok. And I think a big driver in that was the fact that 
the part two, which I had finished yesterday and made changes to, that hasn't done well. And that's probably affected me. And like, I'm now thinking about, should I just take part two and three out and just do a part four? Do people really care about what happens at five hours and 10 hours? I feel like it should do really well, could do really well. The concept is there. We've proven it can work well. Perhaps it's the style, because it was much more laid back, even more laid back than the previous two videos, or one video. Good girl, Duda. So maybe, we'll see, I hope. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking in terms of structure for going forward. So I have previously worked in software. And this is weird because I would normally be talking... If, if you and I were having a conversation, I would be talking to you and I'd be looking you in the eye for like 99% of the conversation. Like, not enough that it makes it weird. I'm kind of like, mm, is this guy going to... R-A-P-E me, or is he in love with me? What a tangent. Uh, but on the video here, I feel like it's, well, I'm just kind of, I guess I'm just like, this is my way of just going through my thoughts. I don't necessarily talk to the camera. I kind of just like stare off. Like, I don't know what the hell I've just looked at. Phone lock case. Some Mullen pills, Alpha Brain, food coloring, a Da Vinci clock. Um, okay, so working in software, we used this framework called Scrum. What is it? Which way around is it? Framework is Agile Framework. Oh my gosh, I always get those two mixed up. So there's the Agile Framework, which is like an overarching way. Of, overarching framework. And then under that, you have lots of different methodologies. One of which is Scrum that I've had most of my experience in. And you essentially break things down into two week sprints. I would break it down into a one week sprint. Perhaps, hmm, I'm not sure because there, I don't want to have to do this too often. But at the end of each of that sprint, each of those sprints, I fill out like a questionnaire or a document to see like what was my I, I, this the few questions I noted down what was your biggest challenge what was the best thing that happened in this sprint what was the worst thing by the way sprint and week are going to be synonymous in this uh what have been your priorities and what are your priorities going forward and then I've got listed out like what how should I gauge where I am on TikTok and then on YouTube? So I've got like a <laughs> a scale of unhappy to happy for something like how happy am, am I with the style that I've gone with? Um, and how happy with am I with how many videos I'm able to produce? And the quality and whatnot. And then for YouTube, it's like, I'm constantly thinking about the thumbnail. Should they be different? Can I do something slightly different? Titles, again, I don't really want to mess around with the titles too much, but maybe I need to. And then obviously making clips. And then, like, what is my system for prioritizing things? because I think I should start getting all my tasks and actually prioritizing them and then working those things at least until such time that I'm not thinking about income as much, right? When there's more expendable income and thing like works a bit more consistent. And then I think I would really, 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 I know this is terrible, but I would really like to be in a position where I can change priority on the things I'm doing at any point. Like, let's say 
I don't know, there are five tasks on the list that need to be done or like that I could work on. Obviously, if one of them is time sensitive, I would be on top of that one. And, and then even though I may not, you know, particularly want to do it, I just know that it has to be done. And I feel better about that because I'm able to spend the rest of my time doing the things that I really, really want to do. I was having a conversation with my dad. Went out for like an hour and a half walk the other day when they were here. And he was he was asking me about this and TikTok and stuff now that I've gone full time and no longer working in nine to five, which is was his path and is the path that I think he still thinks is the best. And for some people it is, but just not me. He said he really liked the idea. He would much rather the idea of working for a company and then giving him a project to work on and to run with a team. And I I can understand that. But I was like, well, okay, what if you're given a pro... He's, well, sorry, he was saying he likes the idea of CGI or you know something cool like that. And I was like, okay, well, what happens if you get given a project that's just designing trees? It's a bit boring, isn't it? Like, you don't get to choose what cool thing you work on. And that's something I pretty quickly realized at my first job was the fact that I had this stupid idea pretty much all the way through college that getting a degree in software engineering would mean I'd have access to just creating whatever cool apps and ideas I had. Like, yeah, I I did. I guess I did do stuff in my uh, free time. But when it came to being on the job, it's it, the way you work is kind of like the way I have my my ideas and things set up. You have a backlog of items that have been... Um, well, okay, backlog of items, which is all the things that the team needs to work. You then bring it into a sprint, as we kind of talked about here. And then you would work that throughout the... That's the that's the long and the short of it for that two week period. Where was I going with that? Where was I going with that? Oh, that's right. Yeah. So you're really just reading off of a list of tasks for you to work on, which isn't fun. And it's stuff like change the. Oh, the enter button is the wrong color. The edges aren't too round, aren't round enough. This pop-up shows up at the wrong time. Like it's not cool stuff. Whereas I, I, I guess I do now. I have the flex. Well, not quite yet. Maybe to do anything, but I have a lot of flexibility that if I find something interesting, I can just make a video out of it, and that's my job. That's create. That's all so crazy but he i don't know if he understood the fact i don't know if he understood it or not that i i could do everything he thought would be really cool without the ties of it being to an organization right um Yeah, like I see this as the best job in the world. Like I could, not I could easily, let's not put it that way. Find other ways to make more money with less work. Yeah, like I, maybe we'll do that as a challenge. <laughs> when things open up, we'll do that. Yeah, we'll do that as a challenge. Like I'll take one of these ideas that I think I could do fairly well in and we'll carry it out. One of those is uh, like clipping content just taking famous people's videos and then adding something else to it to make it go viral. Hmm. All right, so. Let's. It's uh, Friday night, isn't it? So. 
maybe if I'm under Shay's good graces, I could do a little bit of planning for this sprint and how I'm going to run these week to week. I have a really cool, here we go. Oh my gosh, here we go. I have a really cool idea for a new uh, Apple shortcuts. What is it? Uh, it's in an old message. Darn it. Uh, I don't know when it is and it might take me too long to look for it. Okay, never mind. Also, uh, so light bar on. I don't know if you saw the light change. Dude, this is so, it's so, when I think about it, it's so like nerdy. cringe because of my age. So um, <laughs> when I come down here in the evening, like I really like this, like having the different lights on. And then that one over there, that one's quite cool. <laughs> uh, I really like having the different lights. And it's like, I've come down to work for an hour. And I've turned down all these lights. And it's kind of like, oh, cute. He's doing his little hobby. <laughs> I don't know. That's how I... Like, I like it, I'll keep doing it. I'm just it, taking a step back, it kind of looks that way. Um, what was it I was... Oh, I had it uh, and then I forgot it, didn't I? What was it? It wasn't it. I don't have it. Dude, those were so good. I'm not even going to eat that second bag. That's horrible. Bloody horrible. Uh, if I think about it tonight, I'll make a note of it and bring it up tomorrow. I thought it was actually quite interesting. Okay. Yeah, all right. Well, wait, what am I doing? If there is going to be a video tomorrow, dude, there have been so many pauses in this bit because I don't know what I'm doing next. So I apologize for all those cuts. <laughs> I kind of want to take like an hour or so to figure out a sprint, what that's going to look like so I can begin on Monday of next week. So, I'll put, I guess I'll film a drive time in the morning and then whether there's another part to it or not, we'll figure it out if I ever get down to this. All right, cool. Uh, yeah. Videos, the clips seem to, doing, to be doing, you know, decently on the different social accounts, but nothing's popped off yet. Like a few of them have, you know, hitting five, five, maybe six figure views on shorts, but nothing on TikTok or Instagram yet. So yeah, we're kind of just waiting. And like, that's one other thing that I'm thinking about is could, could I be innovating? I feel like I am innovating what's being done by adding my stuff in with other clips, but it's not like really innovating a new strategy to grow fast, is it? That's another thing that I'm thinking about. All right, cool. See you on the flippity flip.